Greg Nelson has helped create some great UFC champions such as Sean Shirk, Brock Lesnar, and Rose Nova Nunez. He's a fifth degree black belt in Jiu Jitsu and has the largest gym in Minnesota, the Academy. With these great accomplishments, as well as having a team of black belts, I stopped into his main gym to see everything it has to offer. But before I go and get my heel ripped off, I'm going to need a warm up round. And a huge focus I've been working lately is a ton of pressure passing, so prepare for some new techniques. To get to a dominant spot right away, I have my head on the right side of his rib. A lot of times in the past, I'd try and put my head on the opposite side because it's great to flatten somebody out. But this position allows me to do a lot more knee slides, tripoding, and just general pressure. It's grueling to be under a 260 pound, better looking version of Bradley Martin, and I want him to know that. I don't know, I think Once I work past his butterfly hook, he's kicking his legs straight because he wants to make a frame between us. But by doing this, he's overextending, I take his back, and then I go to technical mount. Now I need to warm up with a few submissions to get going, so I sit backwards, fall towards his head with this Kimura grip, and he gives me a Christmas gift because he moves his arms a little bit too much and he falls right into a triangle. Now here's a trick for your triangles, but if you keep your legs straight, it's better at keeping their posture low. I had the benefit of starting from mount, but I still like having straight legs until the very end when I lock up the figure four, once the angle's already cut and I get the tap. You have to admit that it's not every day you see me do triangles, so make sure to press like on the video if you want to see more submissions from me that aren't just the guillotine. And for those of you that don't press like, well here's another guillotine entry for you. I'm brutalizing my opponent in the front head with the guillotine and I try and go for an underhook, but he does something magical that most people don't seem to do for whatever reason. Believe it or not, but he's actually hand fighting and he starts by grabbing onto my wrist so I can't dig for the underhook and force him into the cow catcher. So I trick him. I take weight off of him, giving him the impression he can roll into me and then he falls right into a guillotine. But because I'm using the shallow grip for this one, I only need a little bit of his neck to force the submission. But if you want to do guillotines just like I showed there, I'm going to be giving away all my guillotine secrets. The instruction is coming soon and you can have early access by going here to my website, which should be launching early October with my newsletter. My opponent's looking for a toe on my left foot, so I spin with him, but I push against his hips so I am able to pass the guard at the same time while freeing my foot and getting out of danger. I think it's pretty obvious we don't have too much space to wrestle here so I'm limited in my front head attacks, especially with being one of my favorite positions, and while I'm thinking about what I should be doing, he decides he's just going to grab my leg and pull me out. So here's a quick guillotine lesson for you. If their hands are by your feet, that means it's not around their neck and it gives you an easy entry to start attacking them. I'm in a bit of a conundrum here because to finish, I need to go to full mount, but with the other group right there, I instead let go and just go back to the front head and keep a stronger position. Then I decide to just stand up and that brings us to the end of the warm up round. Now I roll with two black belts as well, but I'm not going to lie to you. When you have high level matchups, sometimes it turns into a lot of grip fighting and we're still going to look at the battles, but we're going to skip through some of the boring parts. First up we have Brandon, a second degree black belt who's been doing this for a long time and an avid lover of butterfly guard. What we ended up doing for most of the round is grip fighting. Higher level rolls can come down to just a game of a few inches. If he gives me too much of his neck, I might guillotine him, and if I give him too much of my foot, he might heel hook me. So we're both starting off looking for inside ties with me pulling down the neck, trying to strip his feet off of my hips, and I'm constantly keeping enough weight on my butt because I don't want to go into any leg entanglements. And even though it's an insane amount of grip fighting, this was the first real exchange. Brandon casually hits an arm drag, so I post on my foot to stop it, but this gives him an entry so he can work in on my leg and get to outside Ashi. He's securing the lock because he has control over my ankle, and I realize at this point I don't want to get ankle locked, so I'm going to have to bring my knee to the sky. In hindsight, I have pretty good control over his left foot that I should try to sit over instead, because as I lose control over his ankle, he's able to switch into an inside Ashi, and he starts attacking a heel hook right away, and I start to spin, but with nowhere left to go, I'm forced to tap to another full lock. It's good to see that I've been learning from all my mistakes in the past. I was able to start working a little bit of my pressure passing, but I'm not going to lie, my body locks are at like a blue belt level, so trying this against a higher level black belt was not working for me. Brandon kept trying to sweep me with an over under throw with his left instep elevating me the entire time. Sure, I was able to avoid the sweep, however, this is why you need to go to the body lock right away so you can flatten them out. Eventually I got tired of doing all this grip fighting, did his sweaty knee side for some fun, worked on bottom, and that one didn't work out too well for me.
Thanks, Brandon, for the role, but first, we have to talk about something serious. I've been guilty in the past of using the gym as a coping mechanism to deal with anxiety and other stressful situations. Anxiety and depression are foreign to nobody by this point, and I know I'm not the only one using less effective methods to deal with them. But there are better ways to do this. With today's sponsor, BetterHelp, any of us can work on these complicated issues with a helping hand. BetterHelp is a platform that makes finding a therapist easier because it's online, it's remote, and by filling out a few questions, BetterHelp can match you to a professional therapist in as little as a few days. BetterHelp's mission is to make therapy more accessible and affordable. This is extremely important because finding a therapist can be really hard, especially when you're stuck to one single location. In other words, it's easy to sign up and find the therapist that best fits for you. And let's say you meet someone and it just doesn't work for you. If you don't really feel with that first therapist, which is a common thing with therapy, you can easily switch to a new therapist at no additional cost without stressing about insurance, who's in your net network, or anything like that. There's a link in my description, betterhelp.com slash Tyler Spangler, and by using that link, you'll get 10% off your first month. By clicking the link, it benefits this channel so I can make better content for all of you to watch and it may benefit you in more than one way as well. Don't be like me where I use less effective methods to deal with stress in the past. Click my link in the description so you have an easier time. Thank you BetterHelp for supporting the channel. Instead of showing you immediately another match where two men are trying to hold hands, let's get into another fun one. I start off hot by crushing my opponent and shoving my head into his face and then pushing him down to the mat. It's from here I want to berate his body. I put him into Jesus' favorite position, the crucifix, and it's from here where I can open up a lot of opportunities to see what submission I'm going to hunt for. My top control is so airtight that it's like Eddie Bravo's conspiracy theories. Oh wait, no, just kidding, he shrimps out right away. But it's part of my master plan as I shuck the leg by so I can continuously wear down his cardio since he's a much bigger man. I'm constantly floating around to see what opportunities are going to open up for me. And then he puts his head in my hip pocket, so I mean, come on, it's pretty easy what I'm going to go for. I mean, at this point, he's just putting on a platter because he shoves for an underhook, which is an easy opportunity for me to go arm in. I already have the grip over the neck, so I fall into mount and get a quick tap with a mounted guillotine. As we restart, he still decides he wants to be on bottom, which is good sportsmanship for the bigger guy, but unfortunately it's going to be his downfall. I'm working some reverse half, which could transition into a full lock attack, but he's going to do something sneaky. He reaches up and he gets a tight bite over my neck, forcing me to have to adapt. This is an easy way to fall into a head and arm choke, so I whip my arm backwards to go on the other side of his head and cross face him. Now I'm protected, I can leg pommel L, and I'm back into side control and I show him some 69 guard. My underhook is an easy transition away into falling into a full armbar if I can just bring my leg to the other side of his body. Well there you go, now it's a full armbar, but those arms are going to be hard to work around. The full rear naked choke grip isn't the worst thing in the world to try and break, but with some good timing from him, he's able to bring his elbow to the mat and I have to quickly get rid of this attack otherwise I'm going to lose all position, and instead I just go to front head, the chin strap guillotine, and to show him some daddy pressure. <laughs> This guy, man. Keep spamming guillotines over and over again. I appreciate the role, and now it's time for the grand finale. 